Newsday, BBC World Service. Ghana's parliament is set to vote today on what could be one of the world's toughest anti-gay laws. The act called the Promotion of Proper Human Sexual Rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill would effectively make it a crime to be gay, bisexual or transgender. Proposals include anyone who identifies as gay or transgender facing possible imprisonment for up to five years. Also, anyone who promotes or supports non-heterosexual identities could be put away for up to ten years. The bill also includes requirements to denounce suspects. Let's talk to Samuel Nate, George, Member of Parliament and one of the main sponsors of the bill. He joins us on the line now from Ghana. Uh, welcome to Newsday. A very good morning to you, Claire, and to your listeners. Uh, well, it's good to have you on the programme. You'll know the arguments against this, so let's get straight to it. They, uh, your critics will say this is a bill that is um, hateful, in essence, and is turning Ghanaians against one another. What do you say to that? Well, that's a very unfortunate uh, reading for anybody or conclusion for anybody to draw because this is a bill that enjoys the support of the last search research that was carried out by a private c- civil society organization. 93% of Ghanaians support this position. Laws are a reflection of what society desires. The UK, for example, has laws that reflect what the British people want. Brexit is a reflection of what the British people wanted. It's not a reflection of what everybody wants, but it's a reflection of what majority of the people want. Majority of the people in Ghana support heterosexuality, and we do not understand why anybody's going to see an expression of that desire to represent hatred. That is what we believe. Well, I'll give that you. I'll give you. Let, let me give you one example then, because one of the um, ideas in the bill is conversion therapy for people who may be gay, bisexual, or transgender. The UN says conversion therapy is torture. Do the majority of Ghanaians support that? Well, again, that's that's a questionable thing. I mean, and that's the interpretation that you're putting on it. In the bill, you don't see us say we're offering conversion therapy. Nowhere in the bill is that. You are suggesting conversion therapy. What we discuss in the bill or what is offered in the bill is approved medical treatment, treatment that is approved by the Ghana Medical Association. And that, that, that is the standard in Ghana. That the Ghana Medical Authority and Ghana Medical Association approves all medical treatments that are given. So in the bill, there is no talk okay, of conversion therapy. What is therapy. that if not conversion therapy against the will of the people who may be gay, bisexual or transgender? So so if you have an intersex person and a going corrective surgery, because they realize, and, and let's be clear, science is science. Science would determine whether you're male or female when we do a sequencing of your DNA. There is no gender neutrality when it comes to determining who is male or female. Your genetics show which, which sex you are. And so if you're an intersex person, for example, and there is corrective surgery to help make your dominant gene reflective in your in, in, in your sexual orientation, how then is that seen to be conversion therapy? Well, That's because you, you're, you're going against treatment. international law, though, aren't you? If the UN says this well, is Ghana, torture, Ghana is then that is what you are doing. Clear. You are going against international definitions. Claire, the UN has not said approved medical treatment is torture. You are saying so. The UN does not determine what is medical treatment in Ghana. Ghana is governed by its own laws, not by the UN. And let's be clear, the the UN has not made homosexuality a human right. The UN has not made had any votes in the General Assembly. In fact, the Ghanaian government has had the occasion to say to the homosexual cabal, if you want to have a vote on this, table it before the UN General Assembly and let us have a vote on it. And then we will be guided by it. But to come in through the window and say that the UN has banned a conversion therapy, nowhere in our bill does the bill talk about conversion therapy. Okay, is 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 the Pope wrong then? Uh, the Pope Francis said last year that he thinks same-sex couples should be allowed to have civil unions. He said homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God and have the right to a family. The head of one of the largest Christian faiths in the world. Is he wrong? Well, the Pope has expressed his opinion. The Catholic Church has not taken a definitive decision on that. And let me give you a typical example. The Methodist Church in the UK has said that they're going to allow for gay 
marriages and all. The Methodist Church of Ghana has disassociated itself with that decision. We are not under that. We're not going to be bound by the decision of that church. This bill is supported okay. by the Catholic but the Bishops Bible, Conference. The Bible, Paris. Genesis 127 says, God created man in his own image, and the image God, he created him male and female. He created them. He, if he created man and woman in his own image, then he created homosexuals, bisexuals, and transgender people too, didn't he? Well, Claire, my bill is not a religious bill. It is a bill on cultural values. But if you want to go into the Bible, I'll, 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 I'll grant you that. The Bible says God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. He says, for this reason, a man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife. He doesn't say cling to another man. And so if you want to read the Bible, don't read just one part of it. We can read the Bible and go explicitly. Again, the same Bible tells us that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of homosexuality. So when you want to, when you want to quote the Bible to support homosexuality, uh, let's be very clear. This, well, I'm not doing that. I'm merely testing your arguments out, as millions of people listening to this around the world uh, would do in, in, in well, my like, position like, too. Like, That's like, my job like, as a journalist. Like, like, but we like thank said, you. Sure. We thank you very much sure. for joining us on Newsday. Samuel Nati George, Member of Parliament in Ghana, one of the main sponsors of.